Hi, welcome back. What I'm going to do is show you on a piece of paper how these particular feathers are drawn on. Okay, we're not going to do it right on the wood. I'm just going to show you how to do it on a piece of paper so you can kind of practice on your own. When you do a feather, if I can do this right big enough for you so you can see, you're going to make, especially on this top portion right up here, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to put, to start, start it off, you're going to put a half a circle. Okay, then you're going to put another half a circle, a quarter of a circle. And then you're going to attach the two. Then you maybe put another quarter circle. And then, and then another circle, half a circle. And then you start working underneath it like so. Put another half circle. So little half moons, kind of, in a way. And you just kind of, you can make some a little bit longer so they look not, you know, completely even. And I hope you can see this. See how we're getting the feathering? Okay. So you can do a couple of short ones. You can do, you don't have to make it look like a, um, a shingle look. So if you want to put like two on top of each other like this, you can. That will offset it a little bit. See how that bro broke up the pattern? And you just kind of put these all in and then later on when we go to burn them, you're going to be burning them this way. This is what will actually be cutting out each feather, okay? And then we're going to undercut that. So when you get to this portion where you get the longer feathers, I'll show you how that works. If this is done, like let's say this is the end of, of what we're doing on the bird, okay? And this is his back, okay? And that portion's done. Then you'll have a long feather like this. Then you'll have another one coming up underneath it. Another one coming underneath it, like so. Now this is, I'm doing it very quickly, but that's how you get your feathering, okay? And then you'll have this one going underneath, okay? Okay, so that's how you get your feathering. And then later on you put the barbs in the middle you know, with your wood burner. You actually do that with the wood burner, but with each one of these feathers, we're going to cut that out. So let's start. When you have that practiced a while, what we'll do is we'll go back to this, and this is exactly what we're going to be doing. Let me show you how this works, if I can get this up here. So we're going to start from where the bottom of the, um, the chubbiness of his cheek is. And I'm just going to make an imaginary line. We're going to, this is just kind of like a guide for us, okay? Remember that little, little um, indentation we made? We're going to blend this in kind of together like so. Alright? Just like that. That's going to be kind of our, our measuring um, tool. So here, it's going to, the feathers, there's no feathering on the head. So you're just going to make a little half moon, like so. And then you're going to make another one here. And another one offset. And you start working your way down here. So, okay. Just like it's a little bib. Alright. And then we're going to go, and we're going to, make them a little bit longer. Okay. I'm going to do a top one that might be a little bit longer. Like that. Okay. And we're just going to do that second line and then our last line the feathers start popping in a little further. So, you know, if this is absolutely correct what's on a bird, really it may not be. Um, I'm just showing you how to put feathers in the bird to complete the project. So in, this, in the middle here, we're going to just kind of make another, we're going to kind of follow that all the way down now. We're going to kind of flow it down, all right, just like that. And then we're going to go the other way. Whoops. 
eraser comes in handy, okay? We're going to go this way, like this. Okay, see how we have that? And we'll have one more row until we get to that crevice. We'll do one more like this. And these are going to be a little bit bigger, like this. And one more on the end. And then we'll do the right side. Okay, so you can practice that. That this look is more on a duck. Okay, this look. This you'll see this on the breast of a duck or um, on some portions of the duck. Um, this here, it's more um, more even. So when we get down here, we're going to make another imaginary line, like so, and down the other way, like this. And then we're going to put our last feathers in. Um, I'm going to um, see how this is going to work like this. Okay. Those are his primary feathers. And then we're going to put one in like this. And I'm sorry, we're going to go further than that. We're going to go down all the way down to the end. You're going to make a turn, okay? And then two more. One. And that's our last one is right there, okay? And then when we do the other side, it's going to go this way. We actually did it opposite than what's on the bird that we have, but that's okay. That's a second quill. And maybe one more. Just like that. So now we've got our feathering on the back. And I'll come back in the next series and start showing you how to cut them. There's a lot of work to it. So we'll be back. Bye-bye.